to all the beautiful souls watching. Thank you so much for clicking on this paper part video. Um, this video is going to be all about um, when and how are you going to meet your future spouse so or your future partner, whatever you want to call it. So this is going to be a super detailed reading and um, this is going to include everything all of the details, all of the psychic intuitive information that is going to come through to me. And we got three options again this time. The first option is the Wombat Spirit. The second option is the Flamingo Spirit. And the third option is the Dog Spirit. So um, I would advise you to choose with your gut and intuition. As usual, close your eyes, take a deep breath and relax. Now. Take a moment and yeah, open your eyes whenever you feel like it and which option or which animal is calling out to you the most. Um, you can definitely choose more than one and um, choose the ones that yeah, that you're being drawn to the most and the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below. And without further ado, let's hop into the first option which is the Wombat Spirit. Okay, so um, if you choose an option number one, or is the Wombat Spirit, um, what I am sensing for you, and I got the Strength, I got the Page of Coins, Two of Swords, the Hand Man, and the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and the message on your card, Wombat Spirit, is be at home. And so I feel... So for this one, I feel you're going to meet your future spouse like, um, for the group number one, is there something about um, the number three? So if you see that a lot, that's a big sign. Um, however, I feel that there's going to be some sort of like a, how do I say, um, maybe you will go through some sort of a heartbreak. I see someone going through some sort of an ending like some falling apart and then like you know I see that oh and also I see someone getting like a job offer or um yeah something in regards to finances someone getting that and you might have to travel for this work whatever it is like job or something or um yeah so you get a new thing like this like an offer or this person does and then you travel or this person will travel to your place and when you do travel um, for this work whatever this is um, I feel that's like okay so first firstly I feel someone has gone through some sort of like a heartbreak you know kind of a situation um, some sort of like falling apart and um, yeah maybe you were in a relationship or like um, things just did not end well things did not turn out to be um, the way they should have been um, but yeah that's the way they were supposed to end and it will end a bit brutally to be honest and when this thing will happen um, there's going to be like a fresh start like after some time you will get something I don't know what this is about this could be in regard to finances or this just this could just be about like you getting some sort of like um i hear like a role is someone an actor over here i don't know but like a role or um yeah my guys are saying this is an offer so it could be in regards to love it could be in regards to finances your profession whatever um yes and, and there's a big shift also i see which is going to happen um yeah i do see that and um this shift is supposed to happen between the months of um june to i believe yeah june to september something something significant is going to happen for some people between this time period and um yeah something quite significant and yeah there is travel happening i see travel happening for some people you might meet someone who is not of the same nationality as you who is from who has a different um 
how do you say like uh, cultural background who's from a different ethnicity different um yeah different nationality this person is from a different country um yeah and this person might be traveling to your place or you will be traveling to their place or you will just meet each other on like some platform and then you both will decide to meet up but that's what i feel that work is going to play a role in you both meeting so that is one of the things i am searching for you guys work does play a role um yeah and um let me see if anything else pops up also hearing another message for you guys in regards to when are you going to meet your future partner and it is um so it's something like this for some people um there's going to be like a lot happening in your life at a certain point and it would just be a whole lot messier i mean it's not going to be messy um venus does have a plan for everything however you are going to feel in the moment that everything is so messy and you just you're going to feel that you have too much on your plate and you don't know how to tackle it how to handle this thing and that's the time around this person is going to come and restore some balance i feel um yeah it's like you'll be faced with probably indecisiveness and what about some things and just too much going on there will be too much going on for you to even focus on love i feel um finances are going to be great let me just say that and um yes around the time you're going to meet this person and i see you both meeting around night time it's dark and um another thing i'm sensing for you guys is um you have some sort of like connection to pilot to as well so you might want to check that out because um yeah i do feel that there's some like some messages for you in group number 2 as well um yeah i do see that and um okay If someone is choosing between two options right now i see is this could be in regards to um okay my guy just saying this is in regards to some sort of like a it's a career choice there you go so someone's choosing between two choices um yeah possibly a water sign cancer pisces scorpio or a fire sign is there sagittarius um yeah okay and um yes there's just too much going on in this pile and that's the time where you you know what you're going to meet this person around night time i feel yes and um it's like okay one of you is gonna feel uh, this like it's not that one of you is gonna know for sure that everything um yeah so it's not that one of you is gonna know for sure that yes this person has my future spouse something like that however i feel that um one of you will have like a like a um yeah they will have an idea that yes there is something definitely which is deep and i feel there is a deep connection between you both and yes as soon as this person is going to see you they're going to know they're going to feel that um maybe they won't know it but like the intuition is going to tell them so depending on how much they listen to their intuition um this person is going to act that way but they will know that you're different from all the others they've met before for sure that's what i'm feeling um i was seeing any other messages one more thing i feel that there's a lot of fire between you both um a very passionate connection um this person is the kind of a person who's going to be very tactile in the sense that this person would like to feel you 
feel your skin and stuff like that um, this person would be wanting to um, and the, I hear like someone's craving someone yeah someone's gonna have a lot of cravings uh, I don't know what that means but it's going to be very subjective but yeah that's what I feel for some people there's like this passionate side to this connection which is going to be quite the highlight of this bond um, yeah I do feel that and um, someone's sun sign is going to be in an earth sign someone could be a Scorpio and yeah I do feel that and the way you're going to meet this person is quite interesting so here's the thing um, I feel you're going to be super focused on your stability now I don't know what stability means for you but that's what I'm hearing from my guides that um, you or your person one of you is going to be super focused on your stability um, yeah so I feel this regarding finances and your career so you're going to be focusing on your pentacles and where you're going in regards to the direction you've chosen or the field that you're in and when you're going to be so focused on it you are like everything else is just going to be blacked out and when that happens is when you're going to meet this person because you're just going to be so focused on your career. And I see you doing so well. Um, you definitely are going to st uh, gain stability. And yes, you definitely have, are going to do that. Um, but here's the catch. Right before you hit your first milestone or your first jackpot or yeah, let's call it milestone the first ever big achievement whatever you like big you have planned up in your mind right before you do that you're going to be super close to it but right before you hit that you're going to meet this person like it's going to be is that quick um all of a sudden this person will appear in your life and you'll be like oh my god i did not even expect i did not because you would not be focused on this person whatsoever it's not about like you know you would be just yeah, focusing on other things in your life. Yeah. Um, I don't know how career-oriented you are. Um, and by, by the way, this can go like vice versa. This could be um, the story of your person as well. Maybe they are going to be thus engrossed in their career. And then they bump into you. So, yeah, that's another thing I feel. I already see a marriage card so definitely your relationship is going to be quite stable now here's the thing your relationship there's something about your relationship that my guides are kind of stressing upon and the thing is they are saying that your relationship is the kind of a relationship or like let's just say like your relationship is gonna evolve into such kind of marriage which is going to be very um, grounded and stable however this is not something that you're gonna achieve like you're gonna get after being with each other or after being together for like years and years no you will see this thing right after you meet this person so there's going to be this quality to you to this bond that you both do share when you meet this person for the very first time you are gonna realize like how um, tightly knit you both are how um, connected you both are on so many levels you will see how stable you both are and like everything that just makes you both so close like I just cannot even express but this is just gonna get like even more wonderful over time however you're just gonna see why this marriage is going to be so successful in the beginning as well in the beginning only because um this person you know what um i don't know if someone is an outside over here i just don't know but even if you are or even if you're not does not matter someone could be um however you both have this quality between you both where um like you both get each other so well the compatibility is just next level and when they say that oh this person is immature and i just had so many issues with this person when i was in a relationship you know what it's not about immaturity it's about 
you know what whenever someone has issues with other person it's not really about immaturity it's more often about compatibility and how well do you fit with each other it's almost like this um this person has something that you don't have and you have something that this person does not so you both kind of fit each other very well and that is like this balance of yin and yang and you will see when you meet this person for the very first time it's actually very beautiful it's not going to be like you're not going to see any moon and stars or anything like that it's not going to be that um you know dramatic or like cliche um like you know those hollywood movies no it's not going to be like that um however it's going to feel very like real it's going to feel very like um yes that this is something which you can rely on and you will see why this feels so different from like you will feel secure with this person let's just put it this way you will feel secure this person will feel secure um and this will evolve into such a beautiful marriage over time i just can't even yeah i got like yes this is amazing this is amazing trust me um yes and um another thing that i'm going for you guys is when you will meet this person for the very first time um there's going to be something about this person yes they're going to be um like how do i say they're going to be smarter than their age so i don't know what their age is going to be when you go meet this person for the very first time however they're going to be way smarter is an is their age group and yeah is that makes any sense so this person is going to be like um you will be kind of astonished for a moment like oh this person is like yeah they're they're intelligent like that so this person is going to be wiser than their years so yeah that's one of the things you're going to notice when you meet this person for the very first time and Yes. Um I also see oh that's so cool. Um okay so here's the thing. Is this person um you might be connecting with a fire sign possibly a Leo or it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, any of those. However, I feel you're connecting with someone who's like very bold and charismatic and this person's like um they have a lot of energy. This person's quick, fast, flexible. Um yes this person is like everything you can think of and they have this leadership quality to them and when they, when you're going to meet this person for the very first time this person is going to talk to you like um is they going to talk a bit different to you than the way they do with others but it's not going to be like a stock change which you will like be able to pinpoint like like that however with time you will notice that this person's um okay here's the thing here's how can, how I can put whatever i got for my guides so my guides are saying in the beginning let's just say if this person is going to be a bit like if this person is going to have like a dominant attitude if this person yeah if they're going to be like that not towards you but like in general then um over time when they're going to be with you is this dominant attitude is going to kind of dissipate and they're just going to be so uh they're just going to settle down their ego is going to settle down like into the submissive ground i would say um yeah this person just trust me if the tone is going to be all bold and like so dominant their tone you will see the difference in their tone i see so this is something interesting i never got this kind of thing for anyone so yeah that's kind of interesting um But whoever you connect with this person has a lot of energy. Maybe this person is into sports or something. Um for some people, yeah. This someone also likes to collect things. Someone's a I see I hear someone's a collector. What's a collector? I don't know. But someone likes to collect things. But what? Um Yeah, it's I can't really see. Where is like a 
in like a box kind of thing i can't really see what this is but yeah it's like precious to them whatever this thing is they really cherish this thing someone likes to collect something and um yeah but you will see the transformation in this person's attitude oh my god like oh my god like I don't know how much change is going to be in your attitude but in this person's attitude there's going to be a lot of change and you can um, you will be able to like you will oftentimes hear it from the people who have known this person from the past like their friends and stuff their childhood friends their family even um, you will hear these things like this person has changed a lot since the time they met you yes you will see a tremendous amount of change so um if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up that would really truly mean a lot to me and it really helps me out and also comment down below whatever you liked from this video whatever resonated and also um whatever you would like to say in the future and um subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind this is generated so slapper is made with every single one of you in its entirety so if you do wish to book a personal day with me you can do so by emailing me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for clicking on this video for sticking by hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time um okay so if it's just an option of a second or the flamingos correct and the cards I got for you are the Lovers, the Empress, the Ten of Spears, which is the Ten of Wands, Eight of Spears, and the Temperance at the bottom of the deck. And the message on your card is Embrace the In Between, and the number is 26. Um, I feel this pile is all about transformation, and transformation which is not easy. So, when you're going to meet your future spouse for the very first time, um, I feel that um, there's going to be this um, alarming state. Something about, I'm hearing like, a, like an alarming state. Um, there's going to be this, um, something is bugging you, something is bothering you, something is like um, engulfing your attention. I see... It could be about maybe you have too much pressure on yourself in regards to finances or maybe you just have there is some kind of like uh, pressure on you you just have too much burden I don't know what this burden is about um, and you need help I see in regards to some area of your life um, I also see that there is something quite negative going on which you need to cut out and unless you will do that you're not gonna meet up with your future partner you know what this thing is it's not good for you it's not good for your health I don't know what this thing is but this there's definitely something which is not good and it's been going on for quite some time some time now and um, you need to cut this out whatever it is you need to walk away from it I know it's hard Whatever this thing is, you're a bit attached to it, and um, unless this happens, um, yes, you are not going to be. I see something happening around October for some people. Someone could be a Scorpio, someone could be a Capricorn also. Um, however, you need to cut this thing out, whatever it is. I also see like a fire place, and what's that called? Um, what's that? when you is that like a festival uh, where you burn fire and then people are dancing around it or something like that i don't know i just forgot i know what it is called but i just completely just it's after out of my head i don't know what but um yes i do see that there's something which is unwanted and unnecessary and it needs to go and you're just not able to let it go. I don't know what this thing is, but yes, it needs to go. And um, yeah. And once you leave this thing, um, 
then you will kind of move into the state where you would feel a bit pressured, um, I guess. And um, you need to walk away from this thing. I don't know what this thing is, honestly, but this is not good for you. And that I can see for sure. This is not good for you. It could be a person, to be honest. Um, this could be a person who is toxic in your life, could be a friend, could be um, someone, could be a hobby or something that you're addicted to. For some people, this is some sort of an addiction also. And you need to walk away from this. Yes. Um, I also see someone having like nightmares about, yeah, certain um, things. Someone having nightmares. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm sensing. Um, do keep that in mind. If there is something which is quite negative in your life, you need to cut that out. Do cut that out. And um, let me see any of the messages that pop up for you. Um, for some people, you're going to meet up with this person in some sort of like a celebratory event. Um, this is some place. This is like an event where someone is celebrating something yeah it's like i hear anniversary um i also hear like some kind of an achievement um but this person is definitely like celebrating something and after the celebration is when you're going to meet or you're going to meet around this time period um yeah I feel someone gets a lot of offers in regards to relationships and stuff, like a lot of offers and you just like cut them up, all of them. You do not expect, you do not accept anyone because, yeah, you just don't. And, um, yeah, it's like you get a lot of offers and you're just kind of looking for that one offer and your eye is set on that. I don't want to get into any more relationships and stuff. I see. Um, okay, um, once this event happens, whatever the celebration thing is going on, I feel that there's going to be a huge shift in the energies um, Yeah, around you, in your life. And the shift will cause one of you, you or your person, to make a certain decision that you need to make. Now, this decision could be in regards to travel. Maybe they need to travel to a certain place. And it's okay. So, this is going to be very much like a romantic movie. Your relationship feels like that. Um, it's like... I don't know how to say but like everything's gonna align so magically and it seems like a fairy tale and serendipity is going to play its role definitely over here um but yeah this person they're gonna it's like this if they did not choose to do that then this would not have happened and it would not have led them to you and that makes any sense so it's like everything is that's gonna happen after that point you'll be able to connect it with your own life and how like how intricately it kind of fits you know everything so you'll be able to connect all the dots and everything will make sense and yeah that's what i feel so yeah um that's what i feel there's some sort of a decision that you are going to make and your person is going to make in regards to travel or in regards to let me see oh someone's asking their friend for an advice uh, yeah this is a long term thing I don't know what this advice is for but this is a long term thing okay so um, if, if the question comes to how you're going to meet your future spouse I feel that there is something about a certain trip that you're going to take um yeah a certain trip and your future spouse is kind of um 
connected to your life purpose also i see so it could be a trip for some people however for others it's going to be about some profession or some kind of path that you're going to choose in your life and um yeah it's something which you've never done before you started up a new thing and when you do that you are going to feel quite happy i see yes uh, for some people um this could be a job that you work under someone or something something of that sort also um yeah for some people your um person's going to have like your person's going to have fire signs in their birth chart so um it is your such fears in the sun moon rising venus or they're going to have taurus scorpio um and aries i already said that someone definitely is an aries so someone could have it in their moon sign um yeah but definitely there's a new person very innocent someone is very innocent i know this person is but like so innocent someone has like thin hair and um I see like someone has high cheekbones and a longish face. Someone likes to wear light, um, light clothes. I know what that means. Maybe someone does not like heavy material. Maybe someone likes very light and plush clothing. Someone likes white colored clothing. Also, I see. Um, and um, someone has very skinny legs. very thin someone is so skinny i don't know who this person is but someone is really slim like you can see the bones it's that slim so i know who this person is or if it's you you must be knowing that um yes i do see that someone is quite fair also in complexion um pale yes and um someone likes to journal or some, someone has like a very someone is quite attached to a certain diary or a book i see like a yeah someone is quite attached to it it's like a book or a diary or maybe it's their journal or something but is that is the place where this person literally um expresses themselves and yeah reveals their true self and true feelings So um that's one of the things I'm sensing that yes definitely someone has that kind of thing in their life um someone is very secretive very secretive your person or you one of you oh your person is yeah it's your person they are very secretive uh, especially in regards to their feelings so once you do get together with this person i feel that um if they are not the kind of a person who's like you know when you are in a relationship with someone then the person is going to going to be all braggy and stuff no this is exactly the opposite of that the person is going to be super reserved super um, restricted in regards to what they share and what they don't and what they keep as absolutely private and this person does like to keep things private and on top of that this person is not even going to express things fully to you let alone expressing them to people outside of the relationship so um i feel this relationship that you're going to have with this person it's going to be very um like reserved i'm also sensing another thing that um my guides are saying this person has a lot of heat um i don't know what they are trying to symbolize from this um phrase but i associated this i associate it with um intensity and passion in your relationship so this person is uh probably inclined towards um i also hear that this person is experimental and they have a lot of heat so now take it how it resonates with you and this person is like um now you get it what i'm trying to say but this person is going to be very um how do i say um fiery yes let's put it this way this person is like um they are very sexually driven yes they 
I don't know what's the best word to put it with, but yeah, that's what I'm feeling for you guys. That there's just too much heat. I can't. Yeah, there's too much. Someone's name might start from an M or an E, also an L for some people. O as well for some. So yeah, that's um. Someone is a fire sign for sure. I feel there are fire signs over here. Gemini also, um, because we got the lovers, and if you see the temper temperance, then there's Sagittarius, and with the Empress, we got the Taurus, um, and the Libra as well. However, I feel there are fire signs over here. I don't know why I feel that. Someone's moon is going to be either in an Earth sign, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or in Aries. Yes. Um, Someone has a tendency to be like someone has very fast metabolism. Yeah, I don't know why am I getting these kind of messages? But it's like someone has difficulty gaining weight. Yes. So someone has like a slim body type. Is that ectomorph? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Endomorph. I don't know what. But yeah, you get me. So um, someone has that and. Um, very long legs and long yeah long legs someone has and um a lot of facial hair i see um thin hair i keep seeing thin hair if someone's hair is thinning i see that someone's hair is thinning i don't know and someone is doing quite oh okay so here's the thing, um, someone just started out their, like a new project you might say, or like you can say, or like, um, how do I say, it, this could be a profession, this could be, this is something that they've just recently dived into, and this is something which is going to pay this person off in the long run, and this is going to make this person reach, like, yeah, extreme heights. I don't know, in regards to finance especially, so I know what this person has recently started, but yeah, this is going to skyrocket. And um, if we talk about how you're going to meet your person, it's going to be very um, lined up. So it's like this, maybe you have a lot of goals in regards to your, let's say, your profession or your, yeah, your professional life basically, or like your family life, and then you have some goals in regards to your personal life. Um, if one of those goals is going to be achieved and then one after the other everything is going to come and slowly and sed steadily you're going to build up that hope so yeah um, this is where I'm feeling that um, one of the things is going to come true um, let's say that you want to get to a certain point in regards to um, to a certain place in regards to your um, profession or your career you're gonna get to that and once that happens uh, there are going to be a couple of things which will line up quite easily for you and then you will get into this hopeful mindset and that's when this person is gonna come around because I feel that there is some messy thing that happened in the past it was not so good you felt like life was not fair to you um, it was just not good and it just left you very conflicted very um yeah your mindset totally convoluted and like i don't even know what to do and like you were totally confused and yeah it it was all just really messy and you just felt like um uh, things were not really fair and it should not happen happen it should not ha what am i saying it should not have happened the way it did so yeah there you go um for some people, it's your twin flame they are attracting as your future spouse. Um, yes, and um, okay. Um, um, one of the most interesting things about your bond is how much you both are going to mirror each other. So there are going to be, um, okay, so if we talk about appearance, 
I don't want to say that this person is going to look like you or it's going to uh, they're going to have like similar facial features as to uh, like yeah as that of you however I would say that this person is going to have some things kind of um, similar like maybe there's not going to be much height difference or um, you both are going to have the same hair type like you know small little things but there's not going to be like you're not going to look absolutely opposite from this person i don't know how to put it but like my guides are showing me like two figures in which like um the people you know they both mirror each other in some ways like you are going to have some things yes this person is going to be different from you yes you both are going to have var variations However, there's going to be some similarities as well, which you will be able to point out. And um, this person is going to give you some kind of like a, um, what is that called? It's like a pendant. Is that a pendant or a bracelet? Something which is going to be um, a token on their love. This person could be a water sign, has a Pisces Scorpio, and um, someone likes to wear hats, someone likes to wear like um, accessories on their head. And this person likes to drink also. Um, and another thing I'm sensing is this person mirrors you. So this is going to go on a deeper level rather than just appearance. So take it that way. Um, they are going to mirror you in regards to your personality. Um, yeah, so if you are going to be like ambitious or like... Okay, you just get me what I'm trying to say. I don't even know what they mean by mirroring. So I can't explain it. I cannot. I should not try to. So yeah, that's what I'm testing for group number two. And if you all like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. It would really truly really mean a lot to me and it really helps me out. And also, comment down below whatever you felt about this video, whatever resonated and what you would like to see in the future. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already. Do keep in mind that your journey readings is not going to resonate with every single one of you in its entirety. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by emailing me. And my email, as usual, is going to in the description box below. Thank you so much once again. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Uh, okay, so if it was an option of the third or the last pile, which is the dog spirit, the cards I got for you are the Hierophant, Six of Spares, which is the Six of Wands, Two of Coins, which is the Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Death at the bottom of the deck. And the message on your card is Be Loyal to What You Love, and the number is 19. Um, right away, I'm sensing, okay, this is a message I got while I was shuffling your cards, and I feel there is a strong significance to the number 7. Um, that could be the date when you're going to meet your future spouse for the very first time. Number 7 could be one of the most, um, yeah, it is a very significant number for you both. Yes, in regards to your meeting especially. Um, yes, and you might meet your person around the time when the sun is going to be in Libra, which is... Um, the first half of November, I feel. Yes, that is another message that I'm getting for you guys. Um, okay, so... Your future spouse, um, also one thing I'm sensing, uh, which is like very striking in your reading is your person is someone who you will not expect them to be. In the sense, okay, so this is different from all those cliched ways of saying so it's like this um, you already know who this person is um, but you have not met this person yet so it's like you kind of know about this person but when you will meet this person you will never think that this person will turn out to be your person or something I don't know if that makes sense but yeah someone travels a long distance to see you I also see that um, so it's quite slow in regards to decision making and stuff like that. Number four is quite significant. Um, yeah, I do see that. Um, you both have very different ways of speaking. Also, I see uh, one of you speaks very fast and fluently, like um, how do I say, in a very sharp manner. So, okay, so if you have to say something, you will say it like it is. However, the other person is going to um, 
say things in a very calculated and analyzed manner not in the sense that they manipulate stuff however they just are very calculated with their words they don't want anything miscalculated to come out of their mouth which they're going to regret further on so that's one of the things i'm sensing that there's going to be this massive difference between you both in regards to how you speak um some of the things a lot which causes a lot of um confusion in their head yes um the best thing for you guys would be to meditate i don't know why this uh, advice just came up all of a sudden but um uh, if someone is feeling frustrated i know this is a random message that i'm getting right now if someone is feeling frustrated or like irritated and i don't know like if you're just feeling that way the best thing for you to calm yourself down is to meditate it's one of the yeah my guide is saying that is something you should do um your head is going to clear up through that um yes and okay um also i'm sensing someone is quite smart but also very childish at the same time i don't know how that works but it's like um someone has also has like cat eyes cat shaped eyes or something and um okay so someone has like a broad forehead and um very dark and like and a very someone is a leo let me just say that someone has like a um taper chin and like a heart shaped face also i'm sensing for some people um yeah i just see that as i said someone is smart and intelligent but at the same t- and wise even however at the same time they're childish i yeah i don't know how that works but yes maybe yeah i get it i get it okay um and um okay so this person your spouse when you're going to meet this person for the very first time this person is actually going to give you mixed signals someone speaks very fast so it's hard to catch this person and i don't know if this is your person it's you i feel it's you um but whatever this person is going to communicate with you in the first meeting it's going to be very hard to pinpoint on as the fact that this person likes you or not because this person is very secretive first of all and this person is like very calculated with their speech they really filter off things they don't say things the way they are they i'm not saying that this person has a mask on or like you should be afraid of this person or you should be like careful yes you should be careful but like you should not be afraid of this person whatsoever but like um this person literally filters out a lot of stuff so you would not be able to pinpoint if this person likes you uh, even if they do even if this person fancies you uh, you're just going to be in the state of dilemma that oh this person does or does not so like that another thing i'm sensing for you guys okay let me just see the messages um i also see that when you're going to get along with this person there's going to be this certain phase where um you will start to kind of like okay so before this person came into your life there's going to be like a certain certain like i don't know how to say but certain things that you want to achieve like your goals and stuff however when this person is going to come around um you are going to lose your focus and yes you're going to lose your focus um there's going to be like a and you won't you won't never realize it's like you're confused but you don't even know that you're confused yes something of that sort I feel um uh, someone is okay someone could be a cancer someone could be a libra I feel um very ambitious whoever this person is I'm very um straight forward with the words yes um 
okay um and let me see uh, okay so here's the thing the difference between you both is is that um okay um i don't know how to express this but like there's going to be a stark difference in between the intensity that you are going to feel for this person and this person is going to feel for you in the beginning of the relationship it's like one of you is going to be a bit confused and one of you is going to be a bit like i don't even know if i should or if i should not you know so um it's going to be like that for one of you okay do keep that in mind however it's going to be sorted out afterwards but in the beginning there's going to be this state of um, crossroads for the other person though it's going to be pretty clear from the beginning um yeah like no confusion whatsoever it's going to be very clear um it's going to be very simple yes that's one thing that i'm sensing for you both so it does not matter if you both are like a mirror to each other or if you both are like soulmates or twin flames of past life lovers um this is something that you both are going to face and i see a long dating phase a long 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 it's like you go on and dates like repeatedly one after the other and this this is going to continue for years and years i see okay not years and years but like um the minimum is going to continue for is two years i see okay that's one of the things um and i feel you're going to meet this person with your friends it could be with your friends that you're going to meet up with this person and um number two is quite significant so if you see that a lot that's a big sign um yeah say but like this person their words are a bit hard to read like it's hard to read this person from their words so they might say certain things especially when they're in front of a lot of people they do develop a lot of filters yes and i was not able to speak right now because this person i i just yeah it's just like this the more people get increased in a certain room the more filters they are going to induce so that's yes that's how this person is and um yeah i also see that someone's gaze the way they gaze is very distracting someone's ears are quite um sensitive this person listens to everything this person captures everything they're very observant and they can um, get to the root of anyone's attitude this person may not look that smart in the beginning also i'm feeling however they literally are like you will not feel that this person is smart or whatever but yes you will realize over time this person is like no they they're not as innocent as they look and there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it but yeah, that's what i'm feeling um someone's not been in a proper relationship also i feel someone does not have much experience in regards to love yes there you go that's what i'm sensing someone does not have much experience in regards to love and like um relationships and stuff um yeah that's another thing um someone's very old school type the, yeah i just see that um yeah things will start to happen for you guys around or after the month of october i see um yeah like the big things and there's someone that you discuss things with like probably two people or like one person who is like very close to you um my guides are advising that keep some things to yourself do not share everything and be careful with what you share and how you do 
yes because not everyone is to be trusted also i'm here i don't know why i got all those messages but you really need to be wise right now um if you, if it's you that i got about that someone is a bit like childish and mature or wise at the same time it's better right now for you to turn that wise side on and yes there you go and whoever you're going to meet as your partner that person is going to be very loyal as we got the dog spirit card over here this person is going to be very loyal I, my eyesight just went towards that card um yeah so that is one of the things also i'm sensing and um very emotionally mature you know this person is a selfless person also i feel so yeah that's what i am feeling for you guys and um i'm just gonna end this video right here and if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also um subscribe down below if you haven't already and also comment down below whatever you thought about this video if anything resonated and um do keep in mind that such evidence is not gonna resonate with every single one of you in its entirety so if you do wish to book a first reading with me you can do so by emailing me which is given in the description box below and yeah with that we come to the end of this video thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time